foodies welcome back and we have a treat for you today but before we start this video if you have not subscribed to this community please stop what you're doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button honey because we finna do something today honey that i think everybody is going to enjoy well if you like pasta so i don't know about you but i love the olive garden and one of my favorite things at the olive garden that i always get i never change is the chicken and shrimp carbonara However, you know, sometimes you get tired of paying $20 for just, you know, I just decided, I said, you know what, let's recreate this at home. And so that's what we decided to do on today. So we're going to re try and recreate the chicken carbonara that we get at Olive Garden. And so for my ingredients, I have my olive oil, I have my salt and pepper, I have garlic, I have chicken uh, tenderloins, I have my shrimp, my eggs, my butter, I have half a orange pepper, half a red pepper, I have some thin spaghetti, my bacon, I'm going to be seasoning my meat with the slap your mama seasoning honey, I have parmesan cheese, and I have whole milk. No, no, I'd rather do this with heavy cream, but somebody used up my heavy cream, not happy about that, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, I'm going to go ahead and kind of season my meat we're going to start with cooking our protein first and then we'll start making our pasta so don't go anywhere just chill honey it's cold outside it's snowing well at least it's snowing here down south and this is something that in tennessee we normally don't get i mean we probably get snow about every 10 years but honey god decided to bless us honey at this time so i'm just at home chilling with the family and came in my kitchen and said, hmm, what can we do today? So I had basically all the ingredients already, so I'm excited about that. So don't go anywhere, honey. We're about to get started. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, we have cut up our peppers. We have four egg yolks in here. We have peeled our shrimp. We cut up um, a half a thing of bacon. We have our chicken right here. And what, what I want to do now... Is just kind of go ahead and season my chicken and my shrimp. We'll also add a little salt and pepper to that. Um, maybe not salt, but maybe some more pepper. This is my shrimp. Got that seasoned up. And so what we're getting ready to do, we're gonna get go ahead and go over to the stove and we're gonna start cooking um, our chicken, our shrimp and our bacon. However, when I do cook the bacon, I will be adding the pasta. So I'm going to probably cook my, my chicken first, then uh, warm up my shrimp a little bit, then cook my bacon, and then add my peppers. I have four egg yolks. And we're going to be adding cheese. Parmesan cheese. And this is grated Parmesan cheese. And this is a third of a cup. But I'm going to be doing probably about two cups. So I probably need a bigger bowl. Let's move over to the stove, guys. So over here, guys, we have our water boiling for the pasta. We'll let that boil a little bit more. And we're going to start cooking our chicken and our shrimp. And y'all, I promise, I have a better skillet than this one but i just love this one so much honey it's been with me a long time so don't be on there coming for my skillet all right guys so we add a couple of tablespoons of butter we also added a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and this is just going to help get our chicken started this is a very rich dish
All right, you guys, so this is, I switched to a bigger bowl because I'm getting ready to add one more cup of Parmesan to our Parmesan and egg mixture. So let's go ahead and do that now real quick. We're just gonna stir this up. And I know it looks pasty right now, but we're going to be adding a little bit of cream. That's what the milk is for. And that's about one third cup of cream. Get this mixed in. And this is what you want. You want like this paste. We are gonna also add pasta water. All right guys, so we're just gonna set this aside and finish cooking up our meat. Okay guys, so our chicken is now done. We seared it on both sides. And now we're gonna throw in our shrimp just for a couple of minutes, not long, because they're already pre-cooked. All right guys, we're getting ready to take up our shrimp. Like I said, we're just warming them through. They're already pre-cooked. So a couple of minutes is fine. All right, guys, now we are ready to add in our bacon. And while our bacon is cooking, we're going to add our pasta to our boiling pasta water. While our bacon is crisping up, we want to go ahead and add our pepper in here. All right, guys, and so now what we want to do is add a tablespoon of garlic. Get this mixed in. Smelling really good right now. All right, guys, so I want to show y'all this. What you want to do now with this to help temper those eggs so you won't get scrambled eggs in your carbonara, you want to use some type of utensil and take out some of your pasta water. And just start mixing. Mixing that up. See how creamy that got with that pasta water? And just keep mixing. This is what your cream. This is the sauce. It's going to go on your pasta. Alright, so our bacon. And I know y'all looking at this pot like, oh God, it's black. That's okay. That's all right. What you want to do now is add your pasta. But first, let's add a little bit more pasta water to our pan. We drained our pasta. Now we're adding it to the mix. We're going to turn the oven down to low. And begin adding our cream. And the key is this. You keep mixing. Keep stirring so you won't get eggs. We're going to add a little bit more pasta water.
And guys, you just gonna keep staring. It smells so good. And as you stare, it's just gonna keep thickening up. We got it on low. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this tastes just like I just tasted a piece of bacon. OMG. Honey, never again will I spend my money at the Olive Garden when I can make this right at home. You know, the Olive Garden got the red and yellow peppers in it. OMG. Okay, guys, so here you have it, the finished product. This is my take on the Olive Garden Shrimp and Chicken Carbonara. Um, man, I, this was my first time making it. It was, it was fairly easy. The hardest part is the eggs and the Parmesan cheese, mixing that, making sure that it don't turn into egg in your skillet. But if you temper it, add your pasta water, Mix it up, get it prepared for the pasta. That will not be an issue, as you've seen. I want to go ahead and try this really quick on camera. I know, y'all, I probably shouldn't be eating out the pot, but guess what? This is my kitchen. I do what I want. Let me let y'all hear me smack. I'm going to need a little shrimp right here. It's kind of hot. Mmm, mm-mm. Oh my God. Mmm, baby. Let me tell you something. Olive Garden, you done lost the customer. You done lost me, girl. <laughs> baby. This right here, you'll smack somebody. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Please stay tuned. We coming up with some more stuff. We coming up with some more copycat stuff, honey. I know y'all get tired of spending y'all money in them restaurants. So, honey, let's create this stuff on our own, in our own house. You stuck in anyway, honey. It's COVID. Then we got all this snow. You might as well do some stuff at home, honey. Baby, I love y'all. Thank you all for joining us. Once again, thank you all for your support. We truly, truly, truly love you guys. Be blessed. Be safe out there on those roads. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Honey, I ain't got nothing to say. It's time to eat, baby.